in south central Wyoming in an upland area called Pine Hill at about 7,850 feet of elevation. There's a small patch of trees where if there is heavy rain or rapid snowmelt, runoff will flow to the east and then to the south and enter a small unnamed drainage system where it then flows to the west. That drainage continues west to where it joins a creek called First Ranch Creek where it then drains to the north and enters another channel called Muddy Creek where it's then flowing to the east. Just a very small ditch of a channel at this point. It then begins to flow southward where it joins another river called Little Medicine Bow River where it then flows to the west flows through a geologically interesting area of distinct fold and fault landforms and rock strata. It's with an area with an impressive fossil record. Continues to the west in Medicine Bow River. Here it's starting to become an attractive small river. Continues to flow to the west in Beard Jug Mountain. Sounds like a nice place. Continuing to the west where it then enters Seminole Reservoir, held back by Seminole Dam. Flow continues to the north through another reservoir. This one is the Pathfinder Reservoir and Dam. And yet another reservoir and dam, this time the Alcova Dam. There's actually two other smaller reservoirs dams along that segment. We're on the North Platte River now, which flows to the northeast to the city of Casper. It's our first urban environment that we're flowing through. After Casper, the North Platte River flows to the east. You can see how spiraled this path has been. The, uh, this part of the North Platte River was an important route in the U.S. westward, westward expansion during the 1800s. Uh, before leaving Nebraska, the North Platte swings to the southeast, flows through a couple more reservoirs. Here's one of them, the Glendo Dam and Reservoir. Flow continues to the southeast and east into Nebraska. <coughs> We've left the mountains now and are well into the Great Plains. The North Platte and South Platte rivers join in Nebraska to form the Platte River. As you can see, it's a pretty big river now, although not as large as it used to have been because of all the dams and diversions. The Platte River then joins the Missouri River just south of Omaha, continues down to Kansas City. Then flows all the way across the state of Missouri, joining the Mississippi River, St. Louis. Then flows south and southwest through Memphis and continues down to our New Orleans and the Gulf of Mexico. So the mighty Mississippi River seen here from space, its delta extending into the Gulf of Mexico. That is a spiral of over 720 degrees of rotation. That's a pretty good trick for a river. See the video description text for methods and data sources. Thanks for watching.